Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into a highly controversial topic that's been making waves at the Paris Olympics. It's about Steven van der Velde, the Dutch beach volleyball player who's been in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Now here's the deal. Steven van der Velde made his Olympic debut in Paris, but his past has overshadowed his performance. Back in 2014, van der Velde was convicted of raping a 12-year-old girl in the UK. He served 12 months of a four-year sentence, was sent back to Holland and was released a month later. Fast forward to 2024 and van der Velde's participation at the Olympics has sparked a massive backlash. The crowd's reaction was mixed, with boos and jeers dominating the stands every time he stepped onto the court. Some might argue that the Olympics are about second chances and redemption, but for many his presence there is just too much to accept. The public outrage didn't stop there. An online petition calling for his ban from the Olympics gained over 90,000 signatures. People argued that allowing van der Velde to compete was a slap in the face to victims of sexual assault and sent the wrong message to young athletes worldwide. The Dutch Olympic Committee defended their decision, saying van der Velde had met all necessary requirements and underwent thorough risk assessments. They claimed he had the right to represent his country, but critics weren't buying it. The International Olympic Committee, or IOC, stated that the responsibility for selecting athletes lies with the National Olympic Committees. This diplomatic stance didn't sit well with many who felt a stronger position was needed against athletes with serious criminal records. Van der Velde himself, in a rare interview with a Dutch newspaper, acknowledged his past and expressed deep remorse. He mentioned how the negative coverage was impacting his wife and child, and he even broke down in tears during the interview. He admitted he nearly quit the competition but didn't want to give in to what he called bullies. This situation raises some tough questions. Can someone truly move past such a serious crime and be welcomed back into the highest levels of sport? Should the Olympics be a place for second chances, or is there a line that shouldn't be crossed? Regardless of where you stand, this controversy has certainly put a spotlight on the responsibilities of sporting bodies and the moral standards we expect from our athletes. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. Thanks for tuning in. If you've got thoughts on this topic, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, stay informed and stay curious.